Lung cancer is in fact the most prevalent cause of cancer deaths in the United States and, and around the world. This remains a very common and very deadly type of cancer. My name is Ruben Shaw. I'm a professor here at the Salk Institute and I'm also the director of Salk's NCI designated basic cancer center. And I'm here to talk about a recent study from my lab that we just completed that involves a new potential therapeutic treatment for different forms of cancer. All cancer cells rewire their metabolism. And what I mean by that is that cancer cells, because they divide rapidly compared to most normal cells of the body, they have increased nutritional needs. So we have been keen on understanding what the key events are that different types of cancers uh, employ to rewire their metabolism. One of the well-appreciated changes uh, in cancer cells uh, is their requirement to have uh, increased fatty acid uptakes, so lipids that we get from our diets and lipids that we make within the cells of, our, of each cell of our body are required. We had been focused around one particular set of enzymes uh, in the lipid synthesis pathway. It's acetyl-CoA carboxylase, or ACC. We found that deletion of this gene in these human tumor cell lines really led to a dramatic reduction in the growth of these tumor cell lines. Um, and this was due to the fact that these tumor cell lines could no longer make their own fats and lipids. And so it's thought that tumor cells really need high rates of fat and lipid production to sustain their own proliferation. What was not known though, was that if you could in fact develop uh, a potent small molecule inhibitor of that particular enzyme, whether or not that might selectively inhibit the growth of cancer cells as compared to normal cells. Within my own laboratory, we have never uh, attempted experiments on this grand of a scale. We tested this in multiple independent genetic models of lung cancer to detect subsets that would be sensitive, uh, which we did. Uh, we also tested this in human cancer cells. We also examined directly how different doses of these new lipid synthesis inhibitors would compare to standard of care treatments for lung cancer. Uh, so we used a drug known as carboplatinin, which is one of the most common uh, treatments for non-small cell lung cancer, the common form of lung cancer. Uh, and in fact, we uh, put the drugs head to head, and then we also added in carboplatinin with our novel lipid synthesis uh, enzyme inhibitors. Uh, and we saw remarkable synergistic activity uh, with the combination. For these studies, we were using a drug called ND646, which inhibits ACC. When we combined the two drugs together, we completely just, the, the tumors just shrank. And that was, that was like the, the glory moment. This is, this is really um, the definition of bench to bedside, where uh, basic research scientists are doing uh, everything from cell work and biochemistry, genetic work, all the way up through trying to approximate what a uh, phase one or phase two clinical trial in patients might look like, uh, except doing that in these advanced mouse models. In one of the genetic uh, models that we examined, we saw roughly 50% suppression of, of tumor growth from the novel lipid synthesis inhibitors. And then we observed uh, not quite that good of an effect with the standard of care, but when you added the two together, we saw a dramatic 87% uh, suppression of tumor growth. We're very excited with the, these findings uh, because this really, for the first time, opens up this whole new avenue in the way that we can attack, not just lung cancers, but potentially other cancers which require um, activation of this enzyme for their growth. This actually involved uh, my laboratory collaborating with and working with three different uh, teams of people with very different advanced skills. So the first is actually a, a biotech company uh, in Boston, Massachusetts known as Nimbus who really pioneered, discovered, and developed uh, these small molecules against these lipid synthesis enzymes with the hopes that these could be used to treat a variety of diseases, including cancer. In addition, uh, we were helped by two different teams. One of them here at the Salk Institute is Alan Sagatelian. He is a pioneer and a leader in a field known as metabolomics. The other one at uh, UCSD across the street from us, Christian Metallo. One of the things that we're excited about for this novel uh, therapeutic approach 
is that this, these same processes of building up lipids and fats are common in many different types of cancers, uh, not just lung cancer. Uh, and so uh, we believe there are a number of other cancer types where this uh, particular set uh, of new drugs may be useful.